All right, here are quiz four, so quiz four, quiz five. Solutions for math 112. Um, given a triangle, told that this, the measure of this angle right here is 30 degrees, and I guess we can kind of assume that this right here is a right triangle, so this measure is 90 degrees. Um, and asked to find x and y. So there's a couple of different ways you can do this. I prefer to first find x, and the way I'm going to do that is I have a trig function that relates together the side opposite an angle and the hypotenuse. And so I guess one way you get there is Soka Toa. Um, Soka Toa tells you that the sine of this 30 degree angle must be equal to the length of the side opposite, which is 5, divided by the hypotenuse, which is, which is x. And since I know from my unit circle that the sine of a 30 degree angle is just 1 half, then I can solve this equation to figure out what x must be equal to. So maybe multiply both sides by x, and then multiply both sides by 2, and you get that x is equal to 10. Or 5 divided by what makes a half? 10, I guess. Anyways, x equals 10 here. Um, to figure out y, you got a couple of options. You, um, maybe option 1 should be in a different color. Then you can either use option 1, which is the Pythagorean theorem. or the Pythagorean's theorem, depending on who says it. Um, and that tells you that anytime you have a right triangle, the sum of the squares of the lengths of the legs of that triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, the sum of the square of the length of the hypotenuse. More succinctly, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We're playing the role of a is y, playing the role of b is 5, and playing the role of c is 10. So I can solve for y by saying y squared plus 25 is equal to 100. So y squared is equal to 75. So y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 75. Whoops. Um, however, since I'm talking about a length, you can just assume that I'm talking about the positive root here and get y as root 75, which, by the way, is 5 times the square root of 2, because that's not true. 5 times the square root of 3. And that's because 75 can be written as 25 times 3, and the square root of 25 is just 5. However, or you could do option 2. Maybe this should be in a different color. I don't know that it really matters. And option 2 is uh, weird that it's in parentheses up here. Oh, why do I care so much about stupid things like that? Or option two, <coughs> which is more trig. Once I know that the hypotenuse is 10, I can use a trig function that relates together um, this side and the hypotenuse. Or I could have originally done this side, uh, the adjacent side, and the opposite side. I could say the tangent of 30 equals 5 over y. But I like to avoid tangent when I can, so I'm instead going to say that the cosine of 30 is the adjacent side, which is y, over the hypotenuse, which is 10. And since the cosine of 30 I know from my unit circle is root 3 over 2, I can multiply both sides by 10 to get that y is equal to 5 root 3. Either way, you get your answers that y is 5 root 3 and x is 10. Find exact values for the following. Do not use a calculator. Make sure to simplify and rationalize the denominator where applicable. I should get rid of this. because It's not applicable to this problem. I should just say find exact values for the following. Don't use a calculator. The arc sine of sine of pi over 2. Well, it turns out that this answer is just pi over 2. And the reason it is just pi over 2 comes from our unit circle. And essentially, when we're dealing with arc sine, what we do is we restrict the domain of our sine function. Um, and so sine function is restricted to only take on values from negative pi over 2 
up to pi over 2. So this is, um, I don't know, range of arc sine. However, if we're talking about tangent or cosine, we have different ranges. So for cosine, we restrict to this range. Everything from 0 up to pi. And I guess I should be clear here that I want to include these points. This is my range of arc cosine. And then my range of tangent is similar to what's in green here. Oh, that's not green. Uh, the only difference is for tangent, I don't want to include these two values because they're undefined. So I'll say range of tangent. And then maybe I'll even say exclude negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Um, okay, so let's answer some questions. The arc sine of the sine of pi over 2. Well, the sine of pi over 2 is the height when I put pi over 2 in. So it's talking about the height right here, which is just 1. And the arc sine of 1 is asking me the question, what can you put into the sine function that is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 that will make 1 come out of it? And the answer is just pi over 2. The arctangent of the tangent of 2 pi over 3, you might think, oh, that must just be 2 pi over 3 then. But it's not because the range of tangent, the domain of arctangent, uh, only goes from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And 2 pi over 3 is not in that range. So what i got to do is first find 2 pi over 3. This is 2 pi over 3 right here, this distance. Um, so what I want is a value in between here so that the tangent of that value is the exact same as the tangent here. And the trick you can use for that is tangent is just the slope, specifically the slope of the line that goes through the center and the point in question. And so the slope of this line is the same as the slope of this line. So the tangent of this point is the same as the tangent of this point. This point comes at negative pi over 3. So my answer would be negative pi over 3. Okay, the arc cosine of the cosine of 5 pi. 5 pi is certainly not in my range of arc cosine here. So that can't be the answer. Um, the cosine of 5 pi... Well, let's see, 2 pi is all the way around, 4 pi is all the way around, 5 pi I think is right here. So the cosine of 5 pi, maybe I'll even write this out, is just negative 1. Because the cosine is the x-coordinate, and the x-coordinate right here is negative 1. So then it's asking me the question, what is the arc cosine of negative 1? It's telling me, or it's asking me, um... It's asking me what value I could put into my cosine function and make negative 1 come out, but specifically what value between 0 and pi. And while this value right here is pi, so my answer would just be pi. Finally, the arc cosine of the sine of pi over 6. Well, the sine of pi over 6 is just 1 half. Um, because the y coordinate, it's pi over 6 right here is 1 half. So then the arc cosine of 1 half is asking me the question, what value can I put into my cosine function? And that value has to be in this red shaded region so that 1 half comes out. Well, 1 half would be the x coordinate. So I'm talking about this point right here. And that point right there happens at pi over 3. So my answer would be pi over 3. I didn't do a very good job of showing my work here, but hopefully I talked through things enough that these solutions will be sufficient. So I will end the video here.